Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. So today we're going to be going over how to play the voting game. Now, if you guys have no haven't heard of this game, it's actually really fun. I was with my boyfriend last weekend um, doing playing it around a bonfire. So it was actually a really fun game. And basically what it is, is you're voting on things you believe your friends are like to be true kind of thing so it's from four to ten players of course 17 plus um and so everyone has a voting card okay and let me know in the comments below if you guys play this differently because um this is how i was this is kind of what made sense to us the most um so it's, a, it's really fun actually i i enjoy it so basically um, of course, you can't play on your own. It'd be kind of weird. You're voting for yourself all the time. Or you could be like, I vote this person. And then, if you're, if you really want to get creative and use your imagination, you could just say, I vote this person to be like this kind of thing. And it make a name up or something you think about. You could do it that way if you really wanted to. But it's not fun. <laughs> So, I'm just going to leave the, them like this right here. These are the um, question cards. Okay, right here. And then we have... Um, two, sorry, I'm just trying to organize because it was used last week. So, I'm just trying to find our ID card, the ID cards there is a lot of voting cards which it makes sense um but let me do this quickly 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 I'm just checking to see what, um, make sure we have all the voting cards properly. Card, voting card, not a voting card, voting card, voting card. Okay, we have all the voting cards, it just got messed jumbled up because it was dark out and we were around a bonfire so that is why uh, okay things are falling give me one here. and in the way do I care to be organized you're gonna see the real me and hope you like it no I'm kidding so basically this is your ID so it doesn't really matter you pick a number and that's your number why did things keep falling Oh, of course, felt that coming. So you have from you have one, two. So you have one, two, two three. Oh, that's a voting card. Four, five, six, or is that nine? No, that's nine, sorry. Sorry. Six, seven, eight, nine, and then you have your ten, okay? So it's up to 10 players. So the amount of voting cards are right here. So say, for example, I am, I chose to be number one. So just as easy as that, I do not get one card because I cannot vote for myself. So I get two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, 
eight, nine, ten. Okay, there we go. So these are my cards to vote. Okay, this is such an easy game. This is the best game possible. Or not the best game, this is an easy game. Fun game to play. So basically what you do is everyone goes around, someone starts the game off. I don't know who, it doesn't matter who. Um, you could always say like the youngest person, the per person who pooped the... Uh, the one who pooped, the first to poop, or the last person to poop, or whatever. You want to do it that way. Um, and so I am number one, as like people would vote for me if they thought of me as, um, as a question came aboard. So I can't vote for myself. So let's start with like say there's a circle of six, of ten of us, right? And everyone's got their number. That's their voting ID card. Um, I don't know why I keep getting distracted because. I, yeah, there's lots of noise going outside of my house right now, sorry. So let's say who um, who has the lowest passenger rating on Uber. So let's say I was one, people would vote for me, so they would put up um, number one right here. And, there's, and, then, um, and then say someone else voted for number five because the person who was vote ID card five, they thought would be who has the lowest passenger rating on Uber or whatever, right? So that's how that works. And then if there's like a tie or if everyone votes for someone different, then the person who asked that question chooses the winner kind of thing. So um, there's no really rule about, oh yeah, it does. First to get to 10 points wins. Um, obviously we did it, you could do it however you want. Never, these games are not set in stone, so you could even say whoever gets to 15 cards can win, you know, kind of thing. Um, depends on the amount of players, too, right? So I'm sure, like, if you had four or five of you, that's still, like, you have more questions you could ask, or you have more, you know, you have, like, yeah, more questions in the, those as well. And obviously, you want to play with new people too, because obviously if you play with the same people over again and you get the same questions, they're obviously going to vote for you and you already know. So, to do it differently, you'd want to, uh, I would rather you play with different people, um, but you, I'm sure you could find the voting game on Amazon, Mind Games, whatever it is. It's not hard to find, but it is fun, and it, there is a drinking version as well. So, when guessing who voted for you correctly, guesses means that they drink an incorrect guess means you drink so so i guess if you vote for the person who didn't win you drink and if you vote for the person who did win, they drink and then the person who is voted and wins that vote gets the black card i always thought though is it and i and everyone plays differently so let me know what you guys think but my thought is if you uh end up with the least amount of cards you win because you're like the least um party animal, but it's not that. It's you gotta end up with the one who you would vote the most. I think I got like six and someone got like twelve or something like that. So he was wild compared to me obviously. So this with some of the questions, like I'll read you some of the questions. Um who is still using their ex's Netflix password? Uh who is the first one found in hide and seek? That one they voted for me last, because damn, I would be the first one to be found, honestly. Anyways, that's the game, the voting game. Go check it out. It's a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun when we played, and uh, it was a nice birthday gift for me, so I don't know what the cost of it is. I'm sure it's quite a bit, because board games seem to be quite a bit these days. But anyways, that is it, me. That is me. Have an awesome rest of your day. Bye now.